Hello students. In this lecture, I'll be discussing about the QR factorization of a matrix. Now, if we consider a matrix A, which is M cross N with linearly independent columns, then we can write A as Q into R. Here, Q is an M cross N matrix. Columns of Q are orthonormal basis of column space of A. And R is N cross N non singular upper triangular matrix. Now, since Q is Since Q is orthonormal basis of A, orthonormal basis of column space of A, now Q transpose Q will be equal to I. So this will be N cross N. If we consider an example, before that, the steps that we need to follow. So let us call this as algorithm for finding the QR factorization of the matrix A. The first step it would be to identify the columns of matrix A. So UN be the columns of A. Now the step two would be to apply the Gram-Smith orthogonalization to get the orthonormal vectors. So we will have W1, W2, W3, Wn This is the set of orthonormal vectors. So Q will be W1, W2, W3, Wn with the vectors written along columns. So this will be M cross N matrix. Now to find R, we can make use of, now we have A equal to QR. Q transpose Q equal to I. This implies R is equal to Q transpose A. Or, now we have R to be R I J. Then, R J I is given as in the product of U I 
wj here r i j equal to 0 if i greater than j and uh, this will be by default because of the orthonormal vectors that we get in step 2. We consider an example. A equal to one minus one minus one one zero zero one minus one zero zero one minus one so we have the matrix a So obtain QR factorization of A. So the first step would be to identify the columns as vectors. So U1 will be 1, 1, 1, 0. U2 is minus 1, 0, minus 1. 1 and u3 is minus 1 0 0 minus 1. The second step would be to apply the Gram Smith process. So we have v1 to be u1. So we get 1 1 1 0. v2 is given by u2 minus inner product of u2 v1 over inner product of v1 with v1. Now inner product of u2 v1 will be minus 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 0 which is minus 2. Inner product of v1 with v1 will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 which is 3 therefore v2 will be minus 1 0 minus 1 1 minus minus 2 by 3 now here this should be multiplied with v1 in this formula so we have 1 1 1 0 and this simplifies to minus 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and 1 if two vectors are orthogonal we have say u and v to be orthogonal then inner product of uv is zero so is inner product of u in, with k times v therefore we can take the lcm here and say let v2 to be minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 3 that is the resultant of applying the Gram-Schmidt process on the vector, the resultant we multiplied with the LCM and get this. That is, multiply LCM 
to the vector in the previous step. Now V3 is given by U3 minus inner product of U3 V1 over inner product of V1 with V1 into V1 minus inner product of U3 V2 over inner product of V2 with V2 into V2. So we have inner product of U3, V1 will be minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is minus 1. Inner product of U3 with V2 will be V2 is V2 is here. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 minus 3 which will be equal to minus 2 in a product of V2 with V2 will be 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 9 which is equal to 15. So we substitute these in the formula for V3. So we have minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1, minus minus 1. Now in the product of V1 with V1, we have found that to be 3 into 1, 1, 1, 0, minus minus 2 by 15 into V2 is minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 3. And this simplifies to minus 12 by 15 9 by 15, 3 by 15, minus 9 by 15. If we take the LCM, we have minus 12, 9, 3, minus 9. Now we require unit vectors since the columns of Q should be orthonormal, we have W1 to be V1 over norm V1, W2 equal to V2 over norm of V2, and W3 equal to V3 over norm V3. So W1 equal to 1, 1, 1, 0 over square root of inner product of V1 with V1, we found that to be 3. So norm E1 is square root of the inner product of V1 with itself. So this will be 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 and 0. Similarly, W2 is minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 3 over square root of 15. In a product of V2 with V2 is 15. So norm V2 will be square root of 15. So we have 
minus 1 by root 15, minus 2 by root 15, minus 1 by root 15, and 3 by root 15. Now W3 is W3 will be minus 12, 9, 3, minus 9 over square root of, one can easily find the LCM for this. Now V3, we could have taken it to be minus 4, 3, 1, minus 3. So, we have W3 to be minus 4, 3, 1, minus 3 over the square root of 35. That is minus 4 by root 35, 3 by root 35, 1 by root 35, minus 3 by root 35. So Q will be W1, W2, W3 written along columns. So this will be W so one by root three, one by root three, one by root three, zero minus one by root fifteen, minus two by root fifteen minus 1 by root 15, 3 by root 15, minus 4 by root 35, 3 by root 35, 1 by root 35, and minus 3 by root 35. Now to find R, we can use Q transpose A or R J I with this will be R i j where R j i is given by inner product of u i with w j. So R 1 1 will be inner product of u 1 with w 1. So this will be 1, 1, 1, 0, with W1, which is 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, and 0. This will be 1 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 which will be equal to root 3. R12 will be inner product of U2 with W1 
that will be minus one zero minus one one with one by root three one by root three one by root three comma zero this will be minus two by root three R13 will be in the product of U3 with W1, which is in the product of minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 with 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 0. So this will be minus 1 by root 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is minus 1 by root 3. Now R21 will be 0. R22 will be in a product of U2 with W2. So R22 is minus 1. 0 minus 1 1 with w2 w2 is minus 1 by root 15 minus 2 by root 15 minus 1 by root 15, 3 by root 15. So this will be 1 by root 15 plus 0 minus plus 1 by root 15 plus 3 by root 15 which is 5 by root 15. R23 is in a product of U3 with W2, which will be minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 with minus 1 by root 15, minus 2 by root 15, minus 1 by root 15. 3 by root 15. So this will be 1 by root 15 minus 3 by root 15, which is minus 2 by root 15. R31 will be 0. R32 will be 0, which can be verified. And R33 will be in a product of U3 with W3. That is in a product of minus 1, 0, minus 1 with W3, which will be. Just take a copy of this. So W3 is minus 4 by root 35, 3 by root 35, 1 by root 35, minus 3 by root 
So this will be 4 by root 35 plus 3 by root 35, which is 7 by root 35. So we collect all this, which is okay, root 3. R12 is minus 2 by root 3. R13 is minus 1 by root 3. These entries will be zeros. R this will be 5 by root 15. This will be minus 2 by root 15. And R33 is 7 by root 35. So we have Q and R. And one can easily verify that A equal to Q into R.